All right, boys. So, balance overdue. TLDR, concealment mod for more battleships. Kid gets defensive AA fire. Nagato gets buffed. Azuma gets buffed. Several Italian battleships get buffed. Italian premium cruisers get sap shells as a test. And Vimor moves a tier up. All that in a couple months. Read on for details. We haven't had balance change. Yep. We haven't had balance changes in a hot minute, and the set you're about to see is only to be introduced in a couple of months. I've been knowing these changes are fairly dramatic. You want to tell everyone in advance, so buckle up. Before getting to particular ships, there's news for high tier battleship owners. A concealment mod will now be available for all tier 6 to legendary tier battleships. So that's nice. We can finally put concealment mod on the battleship and have, like, decent concealment and not get farmed at range by a bunch of HE spammers. Well, I'll get to that in a couple seconds. Don't expect the meta to shift much, but perhaps you'll come up with more creative builds. Starting light, we have an extra consumable for Kid. Defensive AA, which can be used to place of the engine boost. The number of aircraft carriers at higher tiers is slowly growing, and Kid is one of the ships that may benefit significantly from such a consumable. Moving on, Nagato. We have a controversial type of battleship that deleted enemies with one salvo and missed entirely with the next. That sounds about right. Started showing some cracks in her potential, addressing her directly by boosting her damage per minute numbers. Namely, she gets 29 seconds of main gun reload, down from 32, so that's nice. And her AP max shield damage boosted to 12600, so it's a 500 damage buff. This may actually be more effective than it actually is, but we're sure the ship should now fall in line better with her immediate rivals. Staying with Japan, there's a ship that unfortunately didn't quite live up to our hopes in more ways than one, and that's Azuma. We're giving her the deluxe treatment, 7.5% better shell grouping. 24 second main gun reload down from 26, AP damage boosted by 600, and HE damage boosted by 500. However, as the, these buffs are quite significant, we're also making her AP shell start ricocheting at a 45 degree angle down from 50. So they're nerfing uh, Zuma's uh, pen angles, but they're buffing her grouping, her reload, and her damage. Continuing the Battleship Fiesta, we're also touching up the Italians. Conte di Cavour's main gun reload improves to 27 from 30, and this so does, so does for Andrea Doria. The top dog, Vittorio Veneto, receives a quicker gun reload as well, 31 instead of 34. And if you thought we forgot Roma, we didn't. While she isn't losing anyone significantly, eh, while she isn't losing to anyone significantly, a small overhaul was due. Roma gets some of the Vittorio Veneto's perks, including HP shells and a maximum damage of 5800 instead of 5100, as well as her smoke generator in the third slot. Plane and a hence secondary booster are moving to the fore. Okay, blah blah blah. It doesn't stop there for the Regian Marina. This here is perhaps the best slice of pizza of the pizza pie so far. We're ready to begin the SAP public test of sorts by adding SAP modules to the following premium cruisers. Gorizia, Duca di Osta, Genova, and Duca del Ghiabruzzi. As we have no Experience with shap, sap shell main batteries. We reserve the right to tweak these shells either way. The modules with sap shells are optional and replace HE shells when installed, so you will have you will still have a choice between sap and AP armor. That's nice to see that's happening. Finally, the most controversial news item that is we have is that we plan to move the infamous Weimar a tier up. It's happening. They're up tiering Weimar. If it's true, the cruiser town should be significantly stronger than we imagined she would, and while she started going down in her win rate and damage numbers due to players adapting to her, it seems that there's no way around the need to cull her power. As it stands, she fits perfectly at tier 7, and the only thing to change would be her economics. Understandably, you'll have questions and comments about whether you can exchange the ship, and we will reveal our strategy for dealing with any Vimars which become unwanted as we move closer to the fact. Obviously, if she's suddenly too weak at the new tier, we'll be ready to apply it, the good old buffing wax, as this, is some, as this isn't something we've ever done before. Thanks for reading, blah 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 blah. So yeah, long story short, uh, SAP is coming into the game as a test. Uh, Vimar is getting up-tiered. Uh, Kid gets defensive AA, Nagato and Azuma get buffed, and Battleship Concealment Mom. That's cool. That makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. Overall, those are some nice balance changes.